Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here. And before we get started, I want to give my shout outs. And today's shout out goes to Phil Sanchez. He's my notification squad winner for today. Phil was the first to say first in one of my recent videos. So congratulations, Phil. What do I got for you today? This is the CX-65, Ishin CX-65. It's a 65 millimeter, little micro FPV racer, uh, Whoop clone. Uh, it weighs only about 20 grams, actually 26 with a battery installed. Uh, but it comes equipped with an omnibus F3 flight con control board loaded up with Betaflight 3.2.2. It also has a 700 TVL FPV camera with a 48 channel, uh, 25 milliwatt FPV transmitter. Now what's special about this camera and this transmitter is that it also has uh, on-screen display through the flight control board that you can program through the flight control board. So uh, that's pretty neat for a Whoop. You don't you normally see on-screen display included with Whoops. So this one got it. So that's pretty darn cool. Um, it has 615 motors and comes equipped with a 250 milliamp per hour HV battery, 3.8 volt HV battery. So that's pretty cool too. You know, that, uh, the top voltage of this, these HV batteries goes up to 4.35 volts. So that gives you a, a little more oomph than you normally see. Now the battery is also equipped with uh, JST PH 1.25 connector. It's kind of a, you know, unusual connector, but uh, they are out there. Now, the camera is angled upward and it actually can be angled up and down. There's two little screws here. Um, I got mine angled a little bit upward like so, so that you can actually get some good speed on this little thing. That's, you know, normally on these little uh, whoops, micro whoops, they're not angled upward. This one is, so again, you can get some bank on the, or uh, pitch on this to get it up to speed. So that's the intro for this. Let's go into flight this thing and see how it performs. Hope you enjoy this flight. Okay, first we're going to fly it, uh, line of sight in an angle mode just to show you flying. So let's send it up. Bring it up close to you, to us. This is its angle flight mode. Very, very stable. <laughs> But we want to see this in acro. This is mainly a whoop. So let's let's land it and go into acro flying. Hold on, folks. Okay, here we go. Let's see how this performs in acro. Got a nice picture on this screen. I'll give you that. It has a nice camera. Let's see. And I am armed and in acro. No, I'm just stab. Let's let's go into acro and take it up. We're gonna ride this. <laughs> now I didn't mention this comes with Betaflight 3.2.2, so you know it's a recent version of Betaflight. Oh yeah, this could move. <laughs> oh, 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 oh! I don't know what happened there. If you turn it too quickly, it does spin out, which is I'm kind of surprised since this does have 3.2.2. So don't don't spin it too hard. You know. Oops. <laughs> I made it through there though. <laughs> okay, let's let's take it up a bit. A bit higher. And see if we can do this. Oh yeah, I can. Let's go to air. <laughs> oh, I did not go to air. I turned it off. <laughs> okay. You want me to? Um yeah, bring it back over on because I can't seem to rearm it right now. Oh wait, I'm back, I'm armed. Stay, that's fine. Let's go back up. I'm in air mode now. I hit disarm, I didn't hit the air mode button. One reason I want to try air mode is I want to do this. I like air mode because you can do these. Oh, what is going on there? Mm -hmm. Okay, disarming. My honey's gonna go get it for me. I am? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's go back up again here. Um, this has a little bit of vortex ring state there when you go a little bit too hard on it. So keep that in mind, folks. Going back to acro, going back up in the air again. So although it has 3.2.2, you don't want to turn it too hard. Because it will it will sl slide out from under you. Just, you know, do some get some bank in there with those turns. Down to 3.3 .3 volts, 
I'm curious how long I can fly. Now I do love this on-screen display. Normally you don't get on-screen display with these little whoops. I like to know what voltage I'm at and you can tell with this thing. So that's great in and itself. So 3.2 volts. I got to start thinking now about bringing it in, but let's bring it by. 3.3. I'm going to go do a couple passes before I land. See, I turned too hard there with the yaw. Be careful on the yaw because it will slide out from under you. So, yeah, this, even though it has 3.2.2, this needs uh, some tuning for this particular model for this little 65 because that's just not enough. Okay, I'm going to bring it in now. How much flight time? We've got a significant amount of flight time there. Where's my landing pad? Let's see if I can get to it. Did I make it? Close? Close. <laughs> outside. <laughs> Just outside. Okay, disarming. And taking the hat back from my beautiful <laughs> wife here. <laughs> Going to get it. Um, oh, no, yeah, I did like it. It's It flies well, it flies fast. Needs a little bit of tuning, though, but, you know, it was it was slipping out from under me there in hard turns, but all in all, it was an excellent flyer, with the exception of the slip of that. Um, I did try some flips and, or some rolls there, and uh, it did go un unstable on me a couple a couple times on those rolls, particularly when I was in air mode. Uh, probably, uh, maybe I shouldn't have gone to air mode, but uh, acro, it seemed to be okay. So, all in all, I do like this little Isheen 65 millimeter. It just needs a little bit of pin tuning. So, I hope you enjoyed this flight. This is Quadcopter 101. Signing out.